we're going to talk about using the call forward function on your phone. Every one of you that has a forward key has the ability to forward your phone to ring at either another extension if you're going to be working someplace else inside the organization or to an outside telephone number. You'll see when you look at the call forward key, it is underlined. That means that when I push that key, it's going to give me some additional options. I'm going to push that key for call forward and you'll see that all of my call forward saved slots, I have the ability to save three places where I go most often. They're all empty, nothing's been programmed there yet. I do want to, you'll see this follow me here, don't, don't use that. <laughs> the follow me is, is just a straightforward to another phone. If that phone doesn't have a forward key, you won't be able to get it off again. So we're just going to use the straight call forwarding. So we're going to program one of these empty spots, we're going to choose program and then it wants me to choose one of the empty slots. When I choose the empty slot, it's going to ask me I can either set a new one, I can delete data if it was already there, or I can clear the entire profile if something was in that slot. I want to set it, so I'm going to choose to set a new call for destination. On the left hand side, it wants me to make some choices. CO means outside telephone line. So do I, want, do I want to forward my calls for both outside and inside, which is ICM, intercom calls, just for outside lines, let's get back in there, or just for intercom calls? Most commonly, you're going to do it for all calls, which is CO and intercom. Then you have to choose, if I choose immediate, busy no answer or no answer, it's going to look for an extension number. That means I'm going to be forwarding my calls someplace else, either immediately, if I'm busy on my phone or there's no answer at my phone, or just if there's no answer. Most commonly, people are going to be forwarding their phones to an external number or PSD. That's a personal speed dial. So I'm going to choose external number, and then I'm going to enter that data. From there, it asks me, do you want to use a personal speed dial bin? If you have a speed dial bin programmed with a number already, you can choose that. Otherwise, you can choose external number. You can only do one saved forwarding destination this way. If you want to do more than one external destination, you do need to program the others as a personal speed dial. But you can have one where you're just going to type in the external number. So if I want to be called at 587-1565, I can go ahead and enter that data. Then it also wants me to do a label, and the label is going to be done the keys on your phone. And I'm just going to enter that. Okay, now you'll see that I have a tech option right there in my Find Me, Follow Me, in my forwarding destinations. I'm going to exit out of here. Now to use that call forward destination now, when I hit my call forward key, it is now saved. If I push that location, you'll see that it starts to blink there at me. It's going for or CO and intercom to that telephone number. Now I exit out of there, my call forward key lights up red, and I'm in the forward mode. To exit, hit my forward key again, push the blinking destination key, turns off. Exit, key is out, I'm no longer forwarded. And that is the call forward feature.